In one of my videos, I demonstrated this big box of tricks, which is my custom Arduino box for controlling LEGO trains. Lots of you asked what was inside, so here's an unboxing video to show you what I've done. So let's flip it over and undo the four screws that hold this together. It has to be screwed because there are so many wires and cables stuffed inside that it will burst open as soon as they're removed. So I'll just use a screwdriver to undo this stubborn one and then take out the two at the back and they pull out and then flip it back over. Now those are all the cables I told you about. So I'll take off the back to show you a bit more. And there's the insides. Now these black and red wires provide 5 volt and ground to all the pins on the top of the box and the rainbow coloured wires go to as many analogue and digital pins as I could use on the Arduino. The Arduino inside is a mega so it's got 54 digital pins, 16 analogue inputs and 14 of the pins are analogue outputs so PWM. The front panel gives me access to the Arduino's USB socket and there's also a dedicated 12 volt plug and a power switch so I can kill everything in a heartbeat when things go wrong. Those are wired up to these thick red and black cables which form a ring all the way around the outside of the box. And that powers the six motor controllers around the Arduino. You can see that right here. They go into the blue screw sockets on each motor control board. The other wires are the PWM signal wires that go from the motor controllers to the Arduino's PWM pins and I'm using 12 of those along the left edge of the Arduino. The motor controllers also need to use digital pins so 24 of those are wired up along the back edge and the other digital pins use those ribbon cables to link to the pins on the top of the box. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, yeah, all the blue wires are the motor control wires, so they connect to the screw terminals on the motor controllers and feed up to the screw terminals on the box lid, so I can attach the motor wires there when I'm setting up motorised points or the 9 volt trains directly, and I can control 12 motors independently this way. So that's my magic box. You wanted to see what was inside, and now I have to stuff all those wires back in. Thanks a lot.